Hey, Zane, what scientists? This is Mr. Duffy here. I'm here to give you the answer to our science mystery question of the week. Now, I don't think all of you saw that, but that's okay. Our science mystery question for the week was, why are some apples red and some apples green? That's a pretty interesting question. And some of our friends from Miss Archer's class actually has a pretty good answer to that question, which I think you'll see here in a minute. But... A little bit more information on that is that actually humans over hundreds of years have been able to change apples. Kind of a weird thing to think about. But it's all about based on what we like. So apples originally were all really small and they looked a lot like what you would call a crab apple. They weren't very big. They were tiny and they were really sour. Hmm. So how did we change that? Well, sometimes when, when farmers would go out, they would see an apple, a crab apple, they would pick it off the tree and they would taste it. And some of them would be really, really sour and some of them would only be kind of sour. Well, they would pick the ones that they liked most, the kind of sour ones, and some of the ones that were maybe a little bit bigger. And over time, when they planted just those ones, over time they were able to grow apples that were nice, big, and sweet. Or, in some cases, they would pick apples that were more green and a little bit more sour, and some apples that were a little bit more red and more sweet. So that's how we have apples that are both green and red. 